Did you know that you can record audio directly in the browser just by using JavaScript? In this video, I will show you how. Welcome back. If you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and do it now. But let's jump into the code right now. So here you can see a Svelte component. This works outside of Svelte, but I am show you Svelte here because I'm building a Svelte application that is using this feature. This is a simple Svelte component. You can see here some HTML with a little Svelte template around that has two buttons, a record and stop button that renders this, a record button that enables the recording and a stop button that shows you the recording that you just made and another stop that are related to the application itself. So how this works? To be able to record audio directly in the browser, you first need to use the Media Recorder API. And as always, you can find the Media Recorder API documentation directly on MDM pages. So check out the link on the description below. The first thing is to create a reference to the Media Recorder object. Also have a way to store the audio data. And since this is a Svelte component, when the component is mount, you'll check if the recorder is supported. Then you can get the recorder access by using window.navigator.media devices, get user media audio, and then you can create a recorder instance. The recorder instance have two methods available on that available that will perform a function when data is available. So, so we will just push that data into the media array there. And then another function to perform when the recorder is stopped. Here, I'll create a blob from the media data. And then this snippet of code that is used to be able to send the audio as file to the backend. Then two functions, record and stop. The record function is linked to the record button. So when the button is clicked, the record function will perform the media recorder start method. Same for the stop function that is triggered when the stop button is clicked and will trigger the media recorder stop. Now, this is the particular thing from Svelte. Svelte can have form actions that are a way to just use a simple HTML form to send data to the backend. How can you send files to the backend? By using a form that is tagged with the end type multipart form data attribute as this one. This form will have a file input. In this case, it's named file and it's marked as invisible to just not display it. The important part here is how to take the blob of the audio just recorded with the media recorder API into this input. To do that, when the recorder is top, I first create a object URL from the blob, a file reference with that blob, and then using the data transfer API, you'll find the documentation for that API in the description below. By the way, since you are in the description, subscribe, don't forget. And using the data transfer, uh, create a container for those files and that files are passed to the file input reference. So here the input have this bind to a file input reference. So I can access the file input with this variable. The file input have a files property. So I just assign the container, the data transfer, to the files attribute on this input. And now I can just submit the form to the slash recorder URL here by just clicking a button. So there you go. This is how you create this kind of audio recorder on the screen using Svelte. But remember, the audio recorder part is just JavaScript. And if you're wondering what I'm building, I'm building something fun to record audio and create content by just speaking. So I'll keep you up to date, subscribe for more and follow me in Twitter to get updates of what I'm building. And by the way, YouTube is a very good recommendation machine. So check out this video here. I'm pretty sure it will like you. See you in the next one.